Hello and welcome back with RSPS and today we're back on Midgard RSPS, one of the most unique Ruski province servers out there for 2024 and today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be ordering a brand new video here. Very excited, fast things fast, the giveaway is going to be a $100 bond to one lucky winner. All you have to do for that one is like the video, comment, change your name, down below and be subscribed to my channel. If you guys want to check Midgard, make sure to do so, the links are down below and when you're looking for the first time, make sure to type Colin Connery Fast, Space Walkers for an insane start pack, Leash for free. Claim that one, enter the giveaway, and get on the grind. Alrighty, first things first, we gotta go ahead and vote, of course. Boom, chakalaka. We're getting the daily rewards, we're getting the vote book, we're getting the skill boost for two hours. And as you can see, the daily rewards are absolutely insane. Uh, so yeah, make sure you vote in every single time you log in. Also, before we go ahead, start killing every single thing in game, pretty much. I wanna show you real quick the sneak peeks right here. We've got the Arctic Shadow Glacier. Look at this one right here. Holy shit, that's gonna be absolute fire. And also, there's development blocks. So yeah, join the Discord, you can guys can actually read about this. Two new bosses are coming, solo boss, a group boss, bruh, it's gotta be fire, dude. We're gonna start from the top all the way to the bottom. Bryothita is gonna be the first one right here. I'm actually excited to see how good or how long it's gonna take to actually kill them. They have tons of lovely maps in here, models, drop tables and everything. I'm using, by the way, the All Got Overload Potion, pushing my stats up to 175. That's the best overload. First boss, really easy to go ahead and kill, as you can see right here. 400 HP. Oh, it spawned actually twice. Maybe someone joined me here. And these are the drop tables, including this lovely pat. So, not too shabby. First boss is going down right here. Very easy. Getting PVM tickets. Some big bones. Skilling crates. Not bad. Next on the list, we've got the Dagonoth Kings right here. Rex Prime Supreme. Shouldn't be too bad. Oh my god, look at these models as well right here. Let's go ahead and clap a Rex. 500 HP in total, a little bit more. Dropping the Rex pad, PVM tickets, and some plat keypods. Not bad, already going down. Then we have Prime and Bry. <laughs> Look at these. Every single boss completely customized model. That is exactly what I'm talking about. And you actually have to use different different attacks to actually kill them. Range for the lovely primes, and we're taking this bad boy down. And you can tell the first ones are very easy, but there are some bosses later on that are gonna be super freaking hard to go out and kill. So yeah, definitely looking forward to that. And the final one, we've got the Supreme. This one we gotta kill with melee. We've got a very Powerful sword, so we get and we've just laid all the Dagonas. Quick and easy. Next up, we've got Bandos, and look at this one. There is a ton in one room. Let's see if I can one shot it with my smack. Smack weapons are super RP in mid gun. 600 HP. Come on, one shot him. All right, didn't manage to one shot him, but still, fairly good. I'm taking it. And this bad boy's dropping the Bandos pieces, Bandos boots, gloves, weapons. Not bad at all. Next on the list, we've got Krill Rot Hey, looking super neat as well. 600 HP, dropping Pat. As well as Amrak Paces, I'll take. Look at this lovely model here, boys. Kriria, I love it. Drop in every Arbidal piece with weapons as well. We're going to try again to one-shot this guy. Come on. Get the prairies on. Hit the 600, mate. Please. Oh, my God. That was actually very close. And then we have Commander Ziliana. That we're going to go and clap. Is there a Domin Paces right here? They're actually pretty decent. You can always hover above an item and see the different stats of these items. So, that's actually very neat. So we're done with it, got worse. Next to the list, we've got Glod. 700 hit points, dropping these items, including Ancient Assassins. Not bad. Pat as well. Let's have a look into the map. I'm just a huge fan of all these maps, Bry. Look at this. Super freaking neat. Huge freaking uh, boss right here. Hey. Not a lot of HP either. We should be easy to go. Bad boys going down. Next to the list, we've got the Lava Strike Worm. Okay. Lava Strike Worm. We got to clap you. I think this guy got 750 HP, so it's scaling in HP wise. As well as uh, drop wise, worm heart, worm scalp, as well as a spike. Yo, this sounds exciting. And also, the damage is increasing now. So, we gotta be careful. Magma Golem are next on the list. Crazy nice models. Drop in the boat of the pat. We've got some primal bars here. This looks super nice as well. 750 HP. Oh, wow. I think he's attacking with mage here. Freaking hell, right? And once again, some lovely location. Next on the list, the Death Breath of Right Hey. Look at this crazy animation as well. I freaking love that. We just ran out of overload pot, so we gotta go ahead and grab another one. And as we can see right here, we have Pat, the Tooth. Oh my god, very nice. Next boss on the list, we've got LA Gorn Hey. Uh, dropping all some neat things. Not too hard to kill, I assume. But later on, it will be pretty fucking tough. Let's go and clap this one. I'll see you with the next boss. Into the demons. The first one is the demon warrior. 
This boy boy is dropping the Daemon Pacers, Heart of the Warriors bow. So a ton of different materials that you'll need for a bunch of different upgrade shit. Let's see how much HP this one has. Already a thousand, okay. So as we can tell, bosses are getting harder and harder to kill. I like that. Let's go ahead and clap this guy. And Demon's Ashes coming in. This is similar to the Dagonoth. So hey, we have three bosses again. We need three different attack styles. The Warrior killed with Mage. The Seer one, I assume, is going to be killed with uh, with range. Also, a crazy nice model. I freaking love it. Drop in these pieces as well, right? Hey. As well as with this lovely pant. Let's go and clap. See ya later, mate. Come on, drop me something rare. Freaking Demon Ash only. Sad lot. And the final one is the Archer. This one, we're going to go ahead and clap with melee. As you can see, everywhere we have people farming these monsters, that's actually insane. Look at this guy with his huge ass axe, dude. That looks insane. But good thing, I have a very powerful weapon as well. And this bad boy is also going down. We've got some PVM tickets, a thousand. Ultimate. Next, let's got Worky, 1.5k HP. It's getting harder and harder. I like it. So, let's go and kill this guy. I'm probably going to go with uh, Mage on this one. Not too sure. Going to overload up as well really quick. Going to go ahead and get the prayer up as well. And let's clap it. I literally just kicked him so he actually wakes up. I'm going to go and spack him so I can actually get this kill quicker done. Hey, Loki bit work that is going to be freaking powerful. Bro, he's not even close. Uh, freaking lie. Only 600 HP done. Damn, boy. All the mechanics, of course, in the building. Dealing some insane freaking damage. So we cannot leg out whatsoever. Oh, my God. This is insane, dude. He literally got 40 HP. Come on, brother. Go down. Hey, we've got the kill. Very nice. And by the way, if you have a worker shield, you can literally just chill your life there. And farm this bad boy. For its lovely items. Next on the list, we've got Corp. 2,000 HP, boys. Oh, man. This will be a good challenge. We gotta get him out of the way. Here we are. 2,000 HP. This man. Dropping every sigil, of course, right here. As we know. Corporal Pape and a lot of other things. Not bad. Let's get him out of the way. There we go. Corp is done as well. Next on the list, we have next ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, this has got to be crazy, dude. We've got all the minions, all its mechanics. It will be well dropping every single next piece, hey? Absolute amazing. Let's go and clap it. Yo, what the hell? This guy also spawns blood reavers and everything. That is insane. All the mechanics fully working. This is absolute insane. Hopefully, I'll be able to get the kill. Finally, the killer's coming in, and we only get some big bones. But we've got next out of the way. Next on the list, Varak Lith. I've never killed this one before. Nine and Slayer required for that one. 2k HP. Dropping the Dragon Slayer pieces. Pats. Damn, boy. Yo, crazy location. Crazy boss, boys. He is actually... We need protect from range for, for this guy. Let's kill it. Oh, we just got one shot. There is a mechanic for it, which I didn't know about. Damn, GG's. Let's... Yo, more mechanics right here. Oh my god, this is insane. So much crazy content. I assume I gotta kill all these bad boys right here. Uh, we're halfway through. Let's keep going. Here we have the flames animation again. I think you want to stand inside of here. Otherwise, you're gonna get one shot at. That's actually pretty chill. We're about to be able to complete this. There we go. We finally killed it. I'm happy. And yes, the loot's already getting better. Next up, we've got Justicia. This bad boy right here is dropping the Justicia pieces. Loot is getting much better already. Just this, your hands, boots, the pat. Let's go and clap him. And by the way, HP, freaking wow. I just got clapped here. 3,000. We killed him. Let's go. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, Diamond Key, PVM tickets, uh, Demon Ashes. We taking it. Next on the list, we've got Darwin that we're going to go ahead and kill with the Darwin Pacers. Absolute amazing. And uh, yeah, let's go and clap this one. 3,000 HP. We have three different attack styles for these. Hopefully, we can actually go ahead and do this with Soul Split now. Shout out to Divine, of course, for spawning me these items. Very appreciated. Let's clap down. Kill is coming in. Very, very nice. And the final of these three bad boys is poor Azir. As we can see, Homie is also farming these ones right here. So, these ones are dropping the poor Azir pant as well as the poor Azir paces, which are mage-based. Let's go and clap one of these as well. Oh, sorry, 3,000. H. There we go. The kill is coming in. Very clutch. Now we've got Solak, Mimic, as well as Roxy left. These ones are the hardest ones, to be honest, to kill. I I'm not too sure if I can do Solak solo, to be honest. He's dropping some insane freaking spack weapons. And we can see the bad boy right here. All dropping all these items. These are incredible. I've got Spoon. I've done a rotation of one hour. And we've got the Solak stuff. 
So yeah, really happy about. Look at these crazy animations as well. This is unfreaking believable. I love this server. He's also spawning this minute right here. I don't have food, bro. Sad. GG. So I just realized we have some great white sharks here. So I think we will be able to get the kill, dude. Here we go, boys. We killed Solak. Very exciting. This was probably the hardest kill so far. Definitely happy with then we have Mimic as well that we're going to go out and kill. So for this one, you guys actually need to get yourself a Mimic token. And you guys teleport directly to the location. And we're going to start clapping this guy. And Mimic is not going down. Gold key, Dragon Bones, coin backs. I'll take it. And the final boss we're going to be clapping today is RX. So this one is the toughest boss. Has a ton of mechanics and everything. I've done a full video on it. Feel free to check it out. Loki a bit worried to kill it. But we're going to try our best. This setup is very important. You grab some freedom pots, as much combo food as you can, and you're gonna be quite a rock. So as you can see, a ton of different mechanics where you can't move. Actually get a ton of DPS with the freedom pot. This is actually getting halved. Uh, make sure you're grabbing yourself and the first death coming in. Let's try. There we go. With melee prayer on and a little bit of moving around. So we are right. First thought. Oh, it has been. Then he jumps away. We gotta keep searching with three waves. It depends on the day. Which one we can actually go through. These are little mini games that you have to complete. So here you don't want to get hit by these spiders. Otherwise, you're going to get one-shotted. Actually, pretty interesting. And then we have to go for the second, third. And after you kill this one, he's also spawning the big boss. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can manage to kill it. And here we go. That's the third part of Roxy himself with 5,000 HP. This is going to be very interesting. There we go, boys. We killed the bad boy. And we've officially killed every single boss on Midgard. This was actually quite a challenge, and um, yeah, I'm happy we got it out of the way. Nothing too crazy here. We're going to go for a pet chance, 175 for the boys. Nope, no pet through. This was actually really cool. We managed to complete the challenge. Really happy about that one. Every single boss has been clapped, and these items are required for bastard slot items in the game. On top of that, Midgard has so much more content to offer, such as the lovely global bosses right here. We've got custom raids, as you can see right here, with custom bosses, sets, everything. It's actually freaking incredible. Tons of skilling content. Maxing our prestige is very P as well, Midgard. You've got endless grinds waiting for you, boys. So make sure you join it. Midgard with the links down below. Don't forget to enter the giveaway by smashing the like button, commenting your names down below, and be subscribed to my channel. I'll see you online. Have a good one, and peace out, my Jay.